In a world first, a meat developed using animal cells has been approved for sale in Singapore. Cultured chicken from the US firm Eat Just has met the city state's safety standards for what's called novel food. Melissa Go has more. A feather in the cap. After four years of R&D to cook up the world's first approved cultured meat, a handful of chicken cells are isolated, then placed in a nutrient-enriched solution to multiply. They are fed a mix of proteins, sugars and salts in a bioreactor, which simulates conditions in a chicken's body. And finally, you get this. Without slaughter. It's the primary ingredient uh, is chicken, chicken proteins. We're living in a time of a zoonotic disease today uh, where a disease from an animal crossed over um, and has uh, impacted all of us. Um, one of the other big advantages of cultured or cultivated meat is a significant mitigation of these kinds of risks. You'll have to fork out restaurant prices for a taste of its chicken breast and bites, which will be served at a Singapore eatery soon. It's now partnering manufacturers, but it plans to set up a facility for cultured meat here, estimated to cost tens of millions, not quite chicken feed. It says it chose the city-state because of its conducive environment. The last thing you want to do is launch this in a place that doesn't have a a strong, rigorous regulatory framework. So that provides credibility not only to consumers in Singapore, but other countries. The company worked with the Singapore Food Agency for two years. The chicken was the first to be put through its regulatory framework for novel food, which Singapore defines as not having a history of being eaten in the past 20 years. So we'll be looking at all the inputs that goes in. The second level we look at would be the uh, production process and the controls in place to ensure that uh, there will not be contamination. The third level we're looking at the product itself to make sure they meet our food standards. And Innovate, which does cultured pork, says Eat Just's approval clears the way for others in the industry. The regulators can set the standards, the evidence and the experiments needed that, that we need to uh, run to prove the safety of our products. Mm -hmm. So uh, we had initially planned for a 2022 launch, but with this recent announcement, we feel more confident and more certain that we can have the product out next year. All alternative proteins, including novel food, must be labelled clearly so consumers know what they're buying.